Yeah, on the race line, there shouldn't be too much wet patches. Just keep an eye out for it. Yeah. All right, well, I'm John Hopkins, obviously former, Mo former MotoGP, World Superbike, British Superbike, Moto America rider, but uh, uh, Ethan Budbull and myself have actually partnered and created the American Racing Academy. The whole purpose of that is obviously to bring up young American riders, bring them up through the ranks and obviously into the world championship scene and bring them in competitively. One of our racers, Kayla Yakov, was ready to make the jump over here to Europe and she, uh, she signed up for the Yamaha R3 Cup, which is a perfect affordable championship. Um, you know, Hopper being my rider coach, it's just, it helps me a lot. He, he really works with me, works with my riding definitely helps me out. He's done so many laps around that track, so it was really important to me to actually, you know, have someone there that's been there and, you know, has the experience. So it's it's really cool and I, I'm really fortunate to have him with the team helping me out with it. I don't think there's pressure with him being around. I, it's amazing, you know, the things he's he's done and achieved. Um, you know, I've met him before in Moto America when he helped me out last year uh, when I raced with American Racing there in the series. Um, but, you know, it's it's crazy the things he's achieved, but I don't think there's any pressure on me. It's tough for, you know, Americans, obviously being uh, such a young age and coming up through their, you know, teen years to separate themselves from their kind of home life in America. With this championship obviously being uh, set up and how it is, you know, Kayla's actually able to travel back and forth and actually still, you know, be at home and, uh, do what she needs to do there, but it's still a great opportunity for her to, uh, to see, race, and uh, get into the championship level over here. So no, I think it's great. Yeah, I think it really does help that, you know, he, he also had to go through it and go through the process of learning the European uh, tracks and, you know, the, the European bikes and everything, because it's such a big step from America and their tracks to here. Uh, so I think it's definitely important and it, it really helps me because I'm also going through that. So it, it helps to have someone that shares that same experience. Uh, the areas we've been focusing on this weekend, I would say, uh, is like I said, learning the track. That's the most important thing first and foremost. Uh, once we get the track nailed and we actually know where we're going, as far as her, she uh, She's got a few places, luckily on the times, we can see sector times that she's been struggling a little bit. And, uh, and then it's trying to take a, an approach to it like that, looking at every corner, looking at every track and focusing on one section at a time. Right now in the dry, well, yesterday in the dry sector two and three uh, were problem areas. So we were really kind of focusing in there, kind of maintaining that speed. And this track is, it favors a lot of momentum. So it's a matter of uh, keeping that momentum, not riding too aggressive and tight. And, uh, and then in the rain, it's just a matter of knowing where the slick spots are. And uh, I know firsthand where the really slick spots are. So I was able to help her out and tell her where the places to watch out for. But uh, yeah, it's a matter of her just graying in as much experience, you know, the knowledge and just seeing you know, what the level's like, and it's just going to continue to increase her level as she travels back and forth racing in America as well. Uh, this experience with the R3 Cup so far has been great. Uh, I've had so much fun with it. It's definitely been challenging, but I think that's what I've needed for a long time. And uh, definitely just, I've, I've had such a blast. The, the bikes are amazing, the competition's amazing, the tracks are amazing. It's just so much fun.